And welcome to the friendly confines of Craven Cottage in West London. I'm Derek Ray, and delighted to have Stuart Robson sharing commentary duties with me. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Fulham facing Manchester City. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the starting 11 for Fulham. Bert Leno gets the nod in goal. Willian starts with Alex Iwobi out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. Ederson stands between the posts. Nathan Ake plays alongside Manuel Akanji in central defence. Bernardo Silva plays with Phil Foden in central midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Erling Haaland. Thank you for attending the game at Craven Cottage today. Enjoy the match. Potentially exciting 90 minutes here, and Manchester City get the ball rolling. Foden. Gvardiol. No, high quality defending. Great effort to keep that one in play. William. Well, very effective play in possession. Pereira. Superb block. Mateo Kovacic. Holland. Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Good work to win. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. But it wouldn't go in for him. Well, he just couldn't get enough topspin on the ball. But you have to say, it was mighty close. Might be able to set up the chance. Opportunity, and the keeper more than equal to it. And a short corner, let's see. He will be. And strong play here. And possession given away. Mateo Kovacic. And plenty of room in the wide area. And options in the centre. Is he going to put it away? 
And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating. Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and then the finish from Bernardo Silva demonstrates his ability to make the right run at the right time. What a good goal. So the match has restarted, 1-0 here. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Mateo Kovacic. Well read to put an end to that attack. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Palinha. Did well to win the ball back. Gvardiol. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. Sasha Lukic. Pereira. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. Given away by City. What can they do from here? Wonderful chance. Oh, that was begging to be put home, but the goalkeeper has it. They've regained possession. Pereira. They've given it away. So nearing the break and City hold the edge. Stuart, how about your critique of what they've put into the game so far? Well, I think they've been the better side in this first half. They've defended well, they've looked dangerous in attack and they've controlled the midfield. It's been a solid performance so far. He continues his run, but really sticking to the task defensively. Mateo Kovacic. Bodies forward and the break looks on. De Bruyne, Holland. Now he must favour the cross. Oh, big opportunity! And it's a goal here from Bernardo Silva. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. Again, 2-0 the score. That's a lovely ball. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. De Bruyne. On to Holland. Walker. Rodri. Well, let's see if something comes of this. Well, he missed the targets and then some. Wide it went. Substitution time it is here. (laughs) 
Palinja. Cut out superbly by Kovacic. And now passing it through. Well, nothing productive, really. And Bernardo Silva has it. That's all they can conjure for now. Well, there it is, half-time. The first half is in the history books here at Craven Cottage. Well, I think it's fair to say, Stuart, that nobody is going to be disappointed with the output of Bernardo Silva in this game. Well, he scored good goals, but his all-round play has been excellent. He looks like scoring every time he gets on the ball. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. Giving it to the opposition, William. Chance to run at them. Clattered away. Mateo Kovacic. And he takes it away. Robinson. Holland. Now with Silva. Rodri. And begging to be put away. And a goal, it was served up on a silver platter for him. Well, just look at the defending here. They've made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. looking rather comfortable for them 3-0 it will be element of risk there but he's won the ball De Bruyne Holland and he read it superbly Bernardo Silva. Wonderfully weighted pass. De Bruyne. Walker. Oh, marvellous defending to deny him. Kovacic. Is it going to be? In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And the finish is so clinical. He just rolls it past the keeper, cool as you like. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this Kevin De Bruyne Holland here's Kovacic it's Bernardo Silva and determined to grab his hat-trick well the way he's been playing that was a chance for the hat-trick but he just couldn't take it
Pereira. The ball with Lukic. And City coming away with it. Holland. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. They've passed it well, their movement's been good, and they've been... This could spell trouble, with the referee having already shown the yellow card. Well, that could easily have been deemed a second bookable offence. Well, he has to be more careful than that. That's his last chance, that's for sure. Number 17, Alex Imobi, to be replaced by number 8, Harry Wilson. Well, he didn't really trouble the keeper. To be fair, the angle was tight. Well, I'm not sure that was the right option. It was always going to be difficult to score from there. Read it well. Walker. Foden. Fulham recovering possession well. Pereira. William. Who continues his run. Pereira. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Just 15 minutes remaining. And taking it away. Jeremy Doku. Dangerous looking through ball. Well, even marginally offside is still against the law. Yeah, and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer and he would have been in on goal. And Manchester City will go to their bench. Rodri. Now Holland. They couldn't maintain possession. Lovely ball over the top. Wilson. An example of how to press. Oh, he's given us away inexplicably. Just needs to resolve the danger. Rodri, Walker now, Holland. Now oh, that's a well-timed pass. Not to be this time. Foden. Well, he tried in vain to get himself back on side. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. So a personnel change then. And that's great work to make sure it didn't go over the line. And the right place to cut out the pass. Jack Grealish. On to Holland. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Holland. Can he put it away? Not an attempt that will live long in the memory. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Adama. 
This attack looks highly promising. But timely defending when it mattered. Doku. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And it all counts for naught. And there goes the final whistle. A real sense of feel-good for City fans everywhere. They take the three points from this game. What did you make of it? Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today. Well, Bernardo Silva, as we know, can be a real handful for defenders. And that was the case in this game. Sum up his contribution for us. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.